my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button down below it would help me grow my channel so thank you so much again i say this every video but i'm just so appreciative of all the support that you guys have given me today i will be taste testing all the holiday starbucks drinks and pastries i got it in all fraps because i'm more of a frap person than a hot coffee person i got four of the pastries i'm just missing the sugar plum danish i went to the target near my house because they're doing 20 percent off for all starbucks drinks so if you go to the target app and you go to target circle and you search up starbucks there'll be a starbucks app for 20 percent off for up to four drinks that you can use it on so that's what i did so it saved me 424 which is pretty good that's about one drink and then for the pastries they were all regular price i got everything at target i apologize so much in advance because i was like i'm gonna get all the holiday drinks and all the holiday pastries but i feel like she knew that i was about to do a video so yeah they were just missing the sugar plum danish so for that one i ordered on my mobile app and there's actually another starbucks down the street for me so that's where i ordered it and then i went to go pick it up and they ran out of that one too so both of the starbucks i went to ran out of that one so i'm sorry i'm not gonna try that one but i have the other for and then I have the five drinks so let's get started I'll start off with all the fraps first I'll start off with the fraps that I haven't tried yet I've only tried the peppermint mocha frap I've tried the caramel pralines frap and I've tried the caramel brulee frap I hope I'm saying that right I asked the workers which ones were their favorite and they said the peppermint mocha frap for sure that's also my favorite and that's the only one that I've actually gone like over and over so I would really recommend that one but I would try the rest of them and I'll let you guys know how it is so I'll start off with the eggnog frap I never tried eggnog actually I don't think I've ever tried eggnog one time I went to Starbucks and this guy ordered an eggnog frap and the workers were so shook because they're like you're the first person that has ever ordered eggnog frap like this season I guess it's not as popular but I've never tried it before so I don't really know what it tastes like so let's try it so all the straws and all my pastries came in this cute like Starbucks holiday bag I'm kind of shook how like every store has skipped like Thanksgiving and went straight to Christmas but like for Thanksgiving like I think people just decorate like turkeys and stuff like turkeys and like I don't know leaves outside their house I've never really seen anyone decorate for Thanksgiving everyone just skips like straight to Christmas so yeah let's try it so this one they're all so cute so each frap has like their own like seasoning like little like pizzazz on top sorry i took too long taking pictures so like everything like melted like in the car and like on the way here but the top has this really cute like cinnamon sprinkles on top I can definitely taste the cinnamon after I mix it in a bit. It has that like hint of like something else that I can't put my finger on. It tastes like a light white mocha frap with a hint of cinnamon. I drank like half of it so it's good. Um, I just feel like there's better fraps that I could buy but this one's not that bad. I actually like it. Next I will try the toasted white mocha frap. Starbucks has really upped their game with the seasoning this season. Huh, get it when the worker was done making all these drinks we were like looking at it it was so aesthetic like they all had like different seasoning and different colors and it was just like very holiday -y. i love it this one actually has pink sprinkles and it has like white balls like white tiny balls on it like snowballs like if you guys can see it's like that white thing like in the middle let's try it this one i know what this tastes like this one tastes like a s'mores like if there was a s'mores frap i think there is a s'mores frap but this one tastes exactly like a s'mores this one is really strong on the toasted like s'mores oreo flavor i think it's okay i think that i like the eggnog more just because it's not like too deep of a flavor it's pretty light for the eggnog next i will try the caramel pralines frap i haven't actually had this in a while i think pralines is a type of nut i think this is what the top looks like there's like I think nuts and cinnamon on top. I'm not too sure, but let's try it. Ooh, yeah, that it's very nutty. Like, tastes like almonds. For this one, I barely taste any caramel. All I taste is mostly almond. So for this one, if you're into almond, this is such a good frat for you. It's like almond in frat form. Hmm. Interesting. Next, I have the caramel brulee brulee frat. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This one has like orange or yellow, I think like sugar bits on the top. This is what it looks like. It's super aesthetic. I feel like I've had this more in a hot drink than in a frap form, but I think this is the first time I'm actually trying it in a frap. So let's see how it tastes. Ooh, this one tastes like peppermint and dark chocolate mixed together. It's pretty good. It's really strong on the 
peppermint and dark chocolate together. Last but not least, I have the peppermint mocha frap. This one's my absolute favorite frap. I drank this like every holiday season because I've never really like tried any of these other drinks, but so far, I think this one's my favorite. This one has chocolate chips on the top of it. Super cute. I barely taste any peppermint. Did they mix up my frap? Why doesn't this taste like peppermint? <laughs> this doesn't really taste like peppermint today. I think they forgot to add peppermint. I'm not sure. Maybe I ordered too many drinks. But for this one, today it tastes like a light chocolate frap. And usually there's peppermint sprinkles on the top, I believe. I'm not too sure, but usually it tastes more pepperminty. It's like a mix of like peppermint and mocha, which is really good. If I had to rank them, I would probably rank the first one as the peppermint mocha frap just because that's like my all-time like holiday favorite frap and it tastes really good as a hot drink too i don't really drink hot drinks but that one as a hot drink is pretty good if you're into that mixture of like peppermint and like chocolate a little bit chocolate like mostly peppermint it's like peppermint like hot chocolate sort of yeah i think that's the best way i could describe it like peppermint hot chocolate is pretty good second would be the eggnog frap it tastes like a light white mocha frap with a little bit of i think cinnamon yeah with a little bit of cinnamon and the camo brulee frap it's kind of strong on the chocolate side if you're into chocolate and then i would rank the camel pralines frap because i'm not really a big fan of like almonds if i were to get a frap i wouldn't want just like an almond frap and my last one would be the toasted white mocha frap because i don't really like marshmallows so that would be my number five and that's all i have for the drinks now i'll move on to the pastries i only have four out of the five but that's pretty good i got all four of them at one target starbucks target since we're in covid season and i don't want to get up to wash my hands i have hand sanitizer so wash those so i'm so excited for this look at how cute these pastries are i don't know if you guys can see it and i don't want this to fall but this is what it looks like first we'll start off with the snowman cake pop this is what it looks like super cute so christmas holiday wintery okay Mm, okay i like this one i think this is vanilla flavor this was actually pretty good the frosting isn't too much the inside is so good it tastes like of a soft vanilla cake it's so good i would recommend this one and for size reference this cake pop is about one and a half size of my thumb next i'll be trying this snowman sugar cookie look it has like the cutest sprinkles at the bottom this is what it looks like it came pre-packaged like you don't have to ask them for it it's like out like on like in front of like where the cashier is so you can just get one and pay for it i don't know what flavor this is this just says no man cookie it doesn't really say what flavor it is it says this one's 390 calories so one snowman is 390 calories i'll just start off with the head i don't know where else to bite it it just tastes like a sugar cookie mm, this one tastes like a sugar cookie that you can make at home very plain the frosting isn't like overwhelming because usually i don't like frosting and i take it out but this one i can actually eat it's very light next i have the cranberry orange scone i don't know if it'll actually taste like an orange this is what it looks like very scony um okay i'll just bite it okay that was very orangey i'm so shook i didn't think it tastes anything like orange and I think I bit into a cranberry and I'm not really a big fan of cranberry. I'm not very healthy in general. So tasting fruit is like hard for me. This tastes like a banana pound cake, but instead of banana, you just replace it with orange and add chunks of the cranberry inside. Last but not least, I have the cranberry bliss bar. It looks like a piece of pie. It's very soft, like it could like break in my hand. So this is what it looks like. And on the side, you can see it's sort of like soft, like very what is that brownie pie -y? i don't know how to describe it but this is the cranberry bliss bar hopefully it'll taste like bliss oh okay this isn't my favorite i think there's cheese on top mostly all i can taste is the cheese i could barely taste the cake but the cake is soft it tastes like a cranberry pound cake but really soft though i wouldn't really 
recommend that if you don't like cheese as much as I do. If I had to rank this, I would probably rank in the order that I ate it in. So the Cake Pop as one, the Snowman Cookie as two, the Scone as three, and the Bliss Bar as four. The Cake Pop is definitely my favorite. It's vanilla flavor and it's really soft. They're all actually really soft, but the Cake Pop and the Bliss Bar was the softest. I think you can get it warm for the Bliss Bar as well. Um, I don't know. I think you can get the scone warmed up. They just didn't ask me because for the plum danish that I was supposed to get on the app, I said I, it could be warmed up. So that's what I got if I actually were to get it. That's all I had for my holiday Starbucks taste testing. I hope you enjoyed that portion. Now I'll be moving on to my posting update. So with my applications due soon i won't be posting as much anymore so i'm so sorry i have one more unboxing for this month i'll probably post that next thursday and then for december i have finals coming up so i'll try to post at least once so like every thursday i'll try to post instead of my usual two times a week so i'm so sorry about that but i promise i will get back to posting two times a week starting in January. That's my posting update so thanks for bearing with my posting schedule and for all of your support that you have given me. I really appreciate it. Like I honestly do not take it for granted. Thank you so so much and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. If you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Look at the snowman cake pop. Oh my god it fits my head. I'm in the queen